We got a couple customers lining up. We'll start the office. So with this, you don't even have to put the price in or anything. You literally just click on the item and then that's about it. So let's see. We will go back to the shop and then furnitures and then we will order. We only have enough for one more shelf right now. It's not going to be enough quite yet. I think we'll need at least one more after this. Stick it right to the one we already have. We'll open this box up. Start sticking these on the shelves as well. I drop top of my wheel, baby. That car I'm driving make you feel some type of way. Hey man, y'all see what the f*** going on? It's your boy Peach. we back at it. Today we're playing Tech Store Simulator. Real quick before we get started with the video, if you guys are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also turn on bell notifications, that way anytime I upload a video you guys will be notified. To all my returning subscribers, welcome back, so glad to have you guys here. One more thing, I did create my own Discord server, so if you guys are looking to join that, you can go down to the description of the video and find the link there. Just click on it, then it should redirect you to Discord, that way you guys can stay even more up to date with my newest videos. Even just hanging out, getting to know you guys, all that good stuff. But like I said, feel free to go check that out. Other than that, we're going to jump right into it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So we'll click new game to start us off. Hey friend, thank you for buying our game. It's worth reminding that the game is still in early access. If you find any bug, don't swear too much. But on the contrary, you can send it to us in Discord. This way, we will make the game better for everyone. Have a good game. Appreciate you guys. Here we are. We got our tech store. Let's go check it out. So right side, we got a storage door. And then we have our computer over here on a desk. And then we we have our cash register and the whole setup that goes with it in the top right hand corner we got our time that's currently going up underneath that we have our money underneath that we have our first task that we have to take care of up at the top in the middle of the screen you guys can see we're currently level one we're zero out of ten xp currently so for our first task it says sign for a supplier it says go to computer open manager tab sign for a supplier so we'll come over here to the computer we'll press e and then we will click the manager tab and we will scroll up to bite me and we'll click zero dollars getting it for free apparently next it says go to computer open shop tab buy shelf small and any other product so we'll click shop and then we'll go to furniture so we have our shelf small for four hundred dollars we'll add one of those to our cart we'll go pay for this so eleven hundred dollars remaining next it says play shelf get big cardboard box at hands press f to open box press left mouse button to play shelf so our box is in the middle of the street love that so we'll press e to pick this up press f to open the box and then I guess we'll just place this shelf right there for right now. Next, it says fill shelf. Get small cardboard box in hand. Press F to open box. Press left mouse button to place objects on shelf. So we're going to go back to the computer, go to products. So it looks like we have a couple different things. So it looks like these are supposed to be phone cases. Is that what they are? So we got the Armor Guard Pro, which has a little heart design, comes with 12 for $60. Then we also have the Shield Flex Ultra, same thing, 12 for $60. It's just the all black case. Third one, we have the Case Master X, also $60, comes with 12 of them. And it's more of a caution tape design. And then underneath we have Glide Tech Precision. So I would imagine that's supposed to be like a screen protector or something maybe i don't know so that's 96 dollars for 12 of those and last it looks like we're gonna have a charger for 120 dollars for 12 of them so essentially 10 dollars a piece for those i think we'll add one of everything let's see 396 dollars total so we'll still have 704 dollars left over press buy and i would imagine our stuff's over here nicely stacked right in the middle of the road ready to get run over damn it isn't like pharmacy simulator where they stay nicely stacked when you take them off it honestly reminds me of supermarket simulator that's what this is really reminding me of even the way the building set up the interface all that stuff now that we have this we'll go to our shelf and then we'll hold down left mouse button we filled that shelf up so we'll do the one underneath so next task it says drop cardboard go outside the store there's a dumpster to the left of the store with the box in hands aim at dumpster and click left mouse button all right, cool. Next, products price. Go to computer, open manager tab, press products price panel, set up product prices. We will head back to our manager tab. Okay, so here we have the product price. It's giving us a base price for each thing. We can go here and change it so we can go from $5 to $7 on this. I think we'll do the same thing for each of these. I don't know if that's going to be too much or if we need to go up more or what, but we'll just start off with that for now. We'll change this to 10 and we'll do this to 12. So next it says open shop. Go to computer, open shop to customers. Okay, so up in the top right, you guys can see it says closed. We have this little toggle switch, so we'll hit this. Now we're open for business. We can also grab the rest of our products that we have and go stick them on the shelves. That way we can get the products sold. We got our first customer. We're going to press E, and then we're going to pick up the case, and then we just click it. So space to check out. First customer complete. It says reach level four to open a new supplier. 
We're also gonna have to get a couple more shelves for our new products. We got a couple customers lining up. We'll start dealing with this. So with this, you don't even have to put the price in or anything. You literally just click on the item and then that's about it. So let's see, we will go back to the shop and then furnitures and then we will order. We only have enough for one more shelf right now. It's not gonna be enough quite yet. I think we'll need at least one more after this. Stick it right to the one we already have. We'll open this box up, start sticking these on the shelves as well. Damn, these people are starting to come in like crazy. Holy shit. So let's get this unloaded really quick we only have enough room for this last box we will throw this in there god damn look at the line of people they look pissed as hell holy shit how do we have so many customers already that's crazy all right so now we are up to 498 we will go back and buy another shelf we'll add that to our cart okay here's our last box we will take care of these customers Now that we've hit level four, our next task is assign new supplier. So we'll go to the computer, open manager tab, sign second supplier, manager tab, and then for $200, we can sign Giga Goods. It'll unlock all these new things for us, a couple new cases, more chargers, looks like a mouse, a couple more screen protectors. We're gonna go back to our computer. We're gonna go to product prices, and we're definitely gonna up the prices on stuff because people are buying these things like crazy. So we'll up all these to $10. So there's everything priced. Take care of some more of these customers. We're starting to run low on items. Order a couple things that we can. We have just enough to order these three things. So we'll buy that. We have $7 remaining. We're up to $127. Buy more of these chargers. We have just enough for that. Still $7 remaining after the fact. Okay, 137. We'll buy some more of the screen protectors. So I was just looking at the management tab again, and you can buy upgrades, which are basically just expanding your business. So the first one's gonna be $500, next one's gonna be 1,000, 2,000, so on so forth. Last one's gonna be 10,000. And we have all these different suppliers all the way down to here. This one opens at level 40. We're up to level six right now. So it looks like it's giving us reviews, currently at 1.9 stars. And then we have the storage tab as well, so we can buy our storage room for 1,000 and expand on that. And lastly, we have our customization, which it looks like we can change the flooring and and the walls as well we'll come back to that eventually right now i think i'm trying to stack up as much money as we can buy some more shelves start buying more products all that good stuff All right, we just hit level 10, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the shop for now. We're up to $588. We have four shelves going. We have a little bit of stock left on all of them. This whole entire shelf's completely wiped clean. So I think to end off this first video, what I wanna do is go to our upgrades. You guys can see our first upgrade is $500, so we will click that. And just like that, we have this whole extended area over here. Made our shop a little bit bigger. Push the wall back a little ways as well. Make it feel a little more spacious. That way we'll have more room for when we get more shelves and all that good stuff so at any rate guys that's going to do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you leave a like down below also leave a comment don't forget if you haven't subscribed already make sure you do that and if you're interested in joining my discord server make sure you go check the description for that other than that that's going to do it guys thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one Yo, what is up with these people sliding damn that dude's pissed He's so mad he can't even walk, he just has to slide. And apparently he can't make it around the fence. You okay, my guy? You having a mental breakdown? Man, standing out there by the fence talking about, Oh, can I get a refund? Looking at... Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This is actually insane. I cannot believe we were playing Nocturne Toten on a literal web browser page. This is actually nuts. And the map, it looks good, too. The movement, it's pretty smooth. It's kind of a little buggy here and there, but I mean, what do you expect? It's literally from a web browser. Like, come on now. Hey, Zach, go down to that hole. Yeah, go <laughs> down to that hole. That's promising. <laughs> I ain't going down oh. shit. Come on, bro. We'll take a dirt nap. <laughs> <laughs> you tripping, fuck? Where is this shit at? Oh, oh my god. Don't go, Don't go in the cave. What's going on in the cave? Don't go in the cave. Go in the cave if you want to die. That's all I got to say. Bro, what?
go, go. Bruh. What? They literally folded my shit, bruh. Come on.